Shadow Keep Cryptoglyph Poison Oryx is dead. To deny this is to drink strong poison. Oryx is dead and his throne waits empty. To accept this is to accept blasphemy into our hearts. Our progenitor and forefather is vanquished. His court scattered, his temples ransacked. The knights like hot stone are dead. The beasts like scarred bone are gone from his side, and his killers have not assumed the mantle of the taken king. How can our mighty king, the spear that pierced a hundred million lying lungs, be killed by those who would deny the all-edged truth? Is this the end of progress towards the true and final shape? Is this the Enteok Zuana, the fate worse than extinction? The triumph of the oldest doubt, and the end of our way? Is it incomprehensible fate, which the needle-fingered one calls the fraying of the cord? No, we are the people of the real. We know the rod which separates the true from the dead. We know that whatever happens is so, because it must be so. We accept that this has happened. Let me tell you what has happened. Our king of shapes has triumphed. The one who murdered him, who wielded his killers as a knife. She was once a liar drenched in the sky, but she came among us, the children of Oryx, and we cleaned the lies from her. We scoured the confusion and fear from her, and we gave her the clarity of our sight. And she devoted herself to the task of comprehending Oryx, learning and foreseeing him, thinking as he would think, knowing what he would know, becoming his one worthy enemy and so becoming like him. How could she do anything but challenge him, and how, in challenging him, in seeking a way between his pits and riddles, could she walk any path but the path he made for her? The mark of him is upon her. She will always fear him. She will feel the wound of him in her mind as we feel his absence. She will seek out all he valued. She will find all that he would want found. And lo, what has she found? What has she found? The liars will come in their thousands and hundreds of thousands, and slaughter us in our millions and tens of millions, and we will go rejoicing to our ends. For they are the blade he has appointed to whittle us into our shape, and she is the avatar he has chosen to mantle him. And even now we sail the course he plotted, for she has awakened the truth which answers the lies, and his will has delivered the liars to us as his final test and he is still, and now, and forever our king. We will ask him to return to us, and when we have pleased him, he will answer.